Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous video we did this hero information and we are able to save this and update this information and now if we go here in the controller here in the settings controller here the code is here save hero whenever we click on this save it will take us to this save hero controller and the things happen like this but if you see here the code looks like this here the image name we are extracting the image name here like this and saving returning the image name here and saving like this here but we not only need to upload the images for this hero section but also for the articles and if you look here the about us background here yeah, and this contact us background so for all these sections we need to upload the image from our controller so if we look our code then in all the places we don't want to do this yeah to just to get the image name yeah. so for that let us create our own upload image handler class okay now if we go here in the app actions so all the actions for fortify and jet stream are here now let us create our own inside the same actions folder okay so let us call that upload file dot php okay now what we want to do here is we need to pass the file to that class and also we need to pass this upload folder then we can do all this information inside that class and we'll reuse that class in every other places okay now let's give private file and private upload path here yeah? and let me create setup for those so you can see here i have generated the setter here so this set file will set the file and set upload path will set the upload file path so i am currently generating this automatically by using this package php setter package okay now while setting the file we will get this request file yeah from here so if we look here it will return this uploaded file or null yeah so let me just type in it here uploaded file illuminate http and here the upload path will be a string so let me type in that as well now if we see here so here so whenever we save here when we might not want to update the image we only might want to update the description so in that case the image will be null so for that case let us make it nullable now when the data is set then we will call one execute method and we will return the name of the image that is being uploaded and if there is no upload file passed here suppose let's say it is null so in the update case then we will return null from here so i have written here question mark now let's say if not this file if no file is passed then we will just return null okay so if that file is passed this request file is passed then we'll perform these actions and return the name of the image now let us copy the same code from here and let us paste it here for now okay now we'll call the image name here and in in place of this request file hero image we'll say this file and after that what we did was this now let me copy the code from here and it will upload the image so in place of this request file we'll say again this file and store as so currently this is coming from the settings we'll say because we are getting this from this upload path here we are passing it so we'll say this upload path here and now let us return the image name from here so we have simply extracted this code here okay now let us use this class so we can say here image name is equals to new upload file and if we see here the methods name are the setters are set file and upload path yeah so we'll say set file and we'll pass this from here and there is set upload path which we will be getting from this set settings upload folder and we will call 
execute so here either we will get null or the image name from here so here we are checking the request file hero image so we are only entering inside if there is a file so it will always return a string from here now we can remove this code from here as well as we can remove this one as well okay now we have simplified our controller so much okay now let us go to the browser and have a look so currently we have this image and if we go here in the storage so inside this settings folder we have this image laravel jetstream backend view 3 frontend project setup now let me select another photo from here and let me select this another image from here let's say this dedicated scope class and let me select it and now if i hit on the save it should work on the same way so if i click on the save now look at here it is saying saved and the image is also shown here now if i refresh the page it should persist so look at here it is being persisted and look at here the image has also been changed so it is the laravel 8 advanced dedicated class for scopes the same image is being already uploaded here so we have successfully refactored our image upload code into a dedicated class so let me also show you one more thing because there is one bug here not regarding the file upload but regarding the saving of the data so if we go here in the database you can see here that hero image is laravel 8 and that same file and the description is like this here now if i go here in the image and let's say 2 i am only changing the description but not the image now let me save here now you are seeing here the image is gone now if i come here and refresh now you can see here that image is gone so this is because how we are saving the data now if we look here closely yeah so we are assigning hero description here and the hero image here inside the data hero image is only available when we are trying to store the image if there is a file yeah so if we submit a file from here then only it is going inside this method and the hero image key is being applied here otherwise nothing is being applied and this data is only saving this thing for now and the key is not there so what we need to do is we need to get the data from the database and we have to merge the data from the request so let me show you what i mean so what we can do is here data is equals to array merge so this settings data so this is the data which is an array from the database so we'll getting this hero description hero data whatever in the database there is and in addition to that we'll merge data here okay so this data is whatever we are getting from this hero description and hero image whatever we are getting from here so let me call it merged data and let me pass it here now when we do this we will not lose our previous image information or any information that is in this data okay now let me go here in the image and let me upload one here so let me quickly upload this one and let me click on save yeah so you can see here the image is now saved now if i go here and let's say three yeah let me show you before that in here database if i refresh here you can see the hero image is again here yeah and the hero description is also here and now if i say here so if you see her hero description is this is two yeah and this is our previous image now if i go here and click on save again now you can see here the image is not lost yeah and if i come here and refresh now you can see here there is the same data only this hero description is changed but the, our image remains the same here so we have fixed that bug as well so that's it for this video guys in the next video we'll be saving the information for this about us information this about us image and this description and to save this description we will not use the simple text area but we will use ck editor and also we will make things dynamic for contact us this image yeah this address phone email and we will do that in the next video so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this so thank you for watching have a great day bye